Welcome to How to Apply for Society of Women Engineers Scholarships Part 2, The Application. We'll cover creating an application, submitting your references, tracking progress, submitting your application and a financial representative, and getting to completed status so that your application is considered for SWE scholarships. Log in and scroll down to select your class level for the upcoming fall semester. If an application is available for your class level, a link will enable to start your application. The first page is an acknowledgement of eligibility and requirements to make sure you haven't missed any details before starting. Once you've read the page, click Continue to bring up the application. Note that required fields have a red asterisk and many questions have a question mark to provide additional details. Also, check out the FAQ in the menu. We recommend saving your work regularly as you work through the application. The re-entry question is for a type of non-traditional student, and thus the answer is no for the vast majority of applicants. If you think your answer may be yes, then we suggest contacting us via the message center on the left side menu to confirm. The next section is your current or most recent school. You will need to upload your transcript by using the Choose File button. Note the information that should be included in your transcript. Under Intended School, answer yes if you will be continuing your current program in the fall. If you are switching schools, majors, or starting a new degree program, answer no. If your major at your school does not display under majors, then please confirm your program is eligible at www.abet.org. Answering no to the same school question enables you to upload an acceptance letter. Attach an explanation if you have not received your letter yet. Also, if you are not sure about which school you are attending, enter your most likely choice. If you want to be considered for financial need-based scholarships, answer yes to the FAFSA question. Then enter Expected Family Contribution, or EFC. You can enter activities and work experience in the next sections. Leave the end date blank for any current roles. For the essay, you can write, copy, and paste it into the text box provided. Next are the additional questions. Most of these relate to criteria preferences of scholarship sponsors. All are optional. You have two options for saving. Save for Later takes you back to the Welcome page. Save and Continue will review whether you have answered all required questions and take you to the confirmation page if so. Start Your Application Now displays as Continue Application. Note the deadline displayed for the application. This is your deadline for all information that you will be submitting. Your application, contact info for two references, and possibly contact info for a financial representative. See the Provide Reference Details links below. These enable as soon as you start your application. You do not need to wait until you submit your application to enter contact info for your references. Review the instructions for each. Click on Submit to send an immediate email to a reference. Note that there is a Save for Later if you want to double-check any details with your reference before submitting them. You cannot make changes once submitting. After submitting contact info, the status changes to Waiting on Reference. If you answered yes to the FAFSA question, then you'll also see a section to submit financial contact info for your school in the fall. You must submit a financial rep by your deadline, but note that this link will not enable until after you submitted your application. Please allow time to enter this data prior to your deadline. To remove this section, go back to the application and change your answer to the FAFSA question to No. Let's finish our application. Select Continue Application. Assuming we have entered all required fields, we can choose Save and Continue and move to the confirmation page. On the confirmation page, you can review all answers and confirm your documents uploaded successfully by opening the attachments. Once you submit, you can no longer make changes. Confirm and Submit returns you to the Welcome page. Your application displays as submitted. Once you've submitted your application, the FA Verification link enables to provide financial aid details. A generic school email is fine, just make sure it is for your school in the fall.
Once you've submitted the financial contact, the status changes to financial contact information received. If both of your references have completed their recommendations, your application status changes from submitted to completed. Completed status means your application will be considered for all SWE scholarships for which you are eligible. Congratulations and good luck!